Hello beginner dragons, it's me Mr. Van, if you guys don't know me. Uh, I used to be doing these videos before I was doing um, some schoolwork, but now I'm going to be taking them back. So uh, this video is going to be the second week, uh, not the second week, the second video of the week and the second video of the month actually. And so our uh, class is going to be mainly about talking about our physical months of goal so that we are introduced to them and then we are going to be doing our warm up. And then we are going to be doing um, two, one or two moves of our idle and troll. So yeah. So first, we're going to be talking about our physical and mental goal. So our physical goal is going to be accuracy, which is doing it right. So just a basic understanding of accuracy. It's basically doing something correctly. So it doesn't mean morally correct. Like, is this? The right thing to do at this time or is this right as in is it according to the law it's actually talking about am i doing it correctly so if you guys are throwing a ball for baseball or something are you pitching it correctly or if you're playing basketball are you shooting the ball correctly um in this context of karate it's going to be am i doing a punch correctly am i doing this block correctly things like that now the second thing, our mental goal is going to be fitness. Basic understanding again. So um, there are two types of exercise. It is aerobic and anaerobic. Um, exercise is just basically being able to stay in good health. So um, we're going to be using our bodies to make sure that we are healthy. And aerobic exercise is basically um, exercises where it's going to be taking a long time, making our heart race and burning some fat um and the second uh type of exercise anaerobic is less about burning fat and more about gaining muscle so um that's just a basic understanding of what we need to learn right now uh next week we are going to build on to on top of that topic but for right now we are going to be doing our warm-up which is going to try and uh build some muscle while also uh burning some fat so it's a little bit of both aerobic and anaerobic. So our basic warm up today is going to be a core exercise, which means it's going to uh, hopefully burn some muscle, in, I mean, burn some fat in your stomach, as well as build some core muscles or ab muscles, whatever you like to call them. Uh, that is basically what we are going to be doing for our warm up today. So um, we are going to be sitting down for this one. So sitting down and we are doing crunches but not quite these type of crunches where we're sitting down and then we're sitting back up. We are doing um, something where you put your legs up like this, kick out and then back in. So that type of crunch, we're going to be doing 20 of these. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to do 20 flutter kicks. So if you guys have ever swam, it's kind of like that where up and down is one. So one, two, et cetera, et cetera. And then we are going to do scissors. So we're crossing our legs like this, over and under. So over and under is one. So over, under, one, un, over, under, two, over, under, three. So we are going to be doing 20 of those, uh, 20 of all of those. So 20 kick outs, then kick back in, then 20 flutter kicks, then 20 scissors. If you guys want, you guys can pause the video at any time, uh, take a breather, get any drinks of water that you need. Um, other than that, you can do this at your own pace. So we're gonna start 20 kicks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. At this point, you can do whatever you want. You can take a breath. You can get a drink of water. Other than that, you guys should move on to those flutter kicks. So we're going to do 20 of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. Easy enough. Now we're going to do scissors again if you guys want. Pause, take a breath, go get some water, uh, walk around, shake out those legs, stretch, whatever you want to do, and then do those scissor kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, and that is going to be our warm. So again, that is a basic exercise for our core. It's going to try and burn some muscle as well as gain some, I mean, burn some fat and gain some muscle in our core. So after you do any sort of exercise, you guys should stretch so that you guys don't, so that you guys don't uh, tear anything. So you don't pull a muscle, tear something off the bone, anything like that. So I don't want you guys to get hurt. So stretch, whether that's touch your toes, touch your toes, whatever. Do that for 10 seconds, then take the breath, do another stretch, 10 seconds, take a breath, 10 seconds, whatever. So uh, I'm gonna do that after this video. Um, but now we are going to be moving on to our I don't want any trouble. So our I don't want any trouble starts off with how we always start off. So we put both our hands up, I don't want any trouble, so that we make sure that the person that's trying to hurt us knows that we're not trying to fight them. But if they do try and hurt us, we can do this move, which is a high block punch. So a block punch like that. I think I did the wrong uh, hand in front, so I'm going to switch that up. I think it's left hand first. So this hand, you guys are going to do a up block and then a punch at the same time. If you guys don't know what that is, we're going to break that down really slowly. So you get into your guard stance. If you guys don't know what that is, you put your uh, toe and your heel on a line with your toe and heel pointed towards your uh, opponent. So say my opponent is my camera. So my heel, my toe are all in line with the camera, like so. You put your hands up and that is your guard stance. So guard stance, you're going to twist so that you're in a forward bow. Again, your toe and your heel are in one line with your opponent. So if my opponent is my camera, again, toe, heel, I mean, toe, heel, towards the camera. If you guys don't know what a toe and a heel is, your toes are your toes, your heel is the back of your foot. So I'm in that forward bow, I do that up block. So you put your hands on one hip and then you block up high. You don't wanna block with the fatty part where your forearm is, you wanna block right no wait you do want to block with the fatty part you don't want to block with your bone so make sure you block right here after that you do a punch if you guys don't know how to do a punch you start by having your arm underneath your armpit you punch out straight not twisting it but your palm should be up towards your ceiling or the sky or whatever you're underneath and then right before you hit something you twist so that you have that rotation. So this is what it should look like. You get into your guard stance, up block, punch. Eventually you want to make sure that's a fluid motion. So up block, punch, like so. You wanna make sure that it is um, eventually going to be one move. It's not gonna be up block, punch. It's eventually going to be up block, punch, like so. If you guys, are struggling with that, that's perfectly okay. You guys can practice a block and then punch. That's perfectly okay. There's no problem with that. Now, once you think you have a sort of understanding on how to do that up block and how to do that punch, now you guys can try and um, use that in a real life situation. So if you want, you guys can use your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, whoever, or you guys can do this all by yourself you walk up to them and say they are holding a pillow to their stomach, you block up high and then you punch that pillow. If you guys don't have anyone, 
you go up to the wall, have, make sure there's a pillow there, or you guys can do this to your bed or whatever is soft, and something you won't break or break you, so you don't want to hit something too hard, and you don't want something hard to hit you either. So make sure that it's something soft so you don't break it, and it doesn't hurt you, and you don't get hurt. So you walk up to something, you do that up block, and then you punch that soft thing. And then eventually you want that to be a fluid motion, but again, again, it's okay if it's not very fluid right at this moment. This is the first week and this is only the second video of this month. So it's perfectly okay, trust me. So make sure you do that, up block punch, up block punch. Do that maybe 10 times and then do some sort of exercise. Like I was saying earlier, our goal for this month, our mental goal is fitness where we want ourselves to be healthy we want to burn some fat with our aerobic exercises and we want to build muscle with our anaerobic um anaerobic exercises so an example of an aerobic exercise is something like jogging going for a run swimming uh, something like that obviously because it's winter you can't go out swimming so something that will make your uh breathing faster and your heart beat faster is perfectly okay for an aerobic exercise that you want to burn fat with. And an anaerobic uh, exercise is something like push-ups, sit-ups, the warm-up that we did this uh, earlier in this video. And yeah, something that will build muscle, whether that's your bicep, tricep, quads, calves, core, whatever it is, you can do some sort of exercise to build that muscle. So once again, I want you guys to practice Get into your guard stance, a block punch. One, two, three, four, five. And then you do five of whatever exercise, whether that's five seconds of jogging really fast, whether that's five push ups, five sit ups, five jumping jacks, whatever you guys want. And then you do it five more times. One, two, three, four, five. And then you do five more. Maybe you want to do something different this time. Maybe last time you did push ups. Now you want to do sit ups. That's okay too. So maybe try and do that when you get five of one thing, then five of another, and then five of that last thing, and then you're done for the day. Maybe you wanna do it five more times. So one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five more, whatever exercise you wanna do, and then maybe five more after that. It's really up to you. I don't care how many times you do it, as long as you guys uh, are able to do it somewhat fluidly. You got, again, you don't have to do it in one motion. You guys can do one, two. You guys can do one, two. It doesn't matter to me as long as you guys get the basic premise of an up block and a twist and punch. Um, other than that, uh, I think we are done for the day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.